Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with T. And T, dynamite explosive from Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I have a stick. We're playing Madden 20, the Dolphamite Saga continues. It really does. Can't stop it. Won't stop it. Come on, ride that train. And ride it. And ride it. Chew. Whoop, whoop. Jonas. Yeah. Another great game is underway what's that it's this game right here where oh. we stomp on the raiders oh what's, dude we're gonna make them pay what's their record oh and six trash we're five and oh trash i mean good Kenyon drake Hello, got everybody. traded in real life coach. this uh, is Madden who they, they trade him to i don't remember the cardinals maybe oh jesus <laughs> i don't care man i thought you paid attention to this stuff the football yeah i used to man i got other things going on you now. play fantasy football not, on like three different accounts. No. What? No. Dude, How do, many is it? I do draft games. Here on no, I don't have any leagues I play for time. I, I, I wrote a book and all that stuff. Don't you, don't you play FB dubs too? Uh, they don't do the same thing this year. They do pick stuff against the spread. So it's like similar but different. And it's, it's a lot harder to pick stuff against the spread. If I was good at that, I'd be rich. <laughs> <laughs> the last year was giving out too much free food, man. Is that what it is? No, the, the B bubs. Oh, well, picking against the spread, like I guarantee you, the people who are winning just kind of guess it. Yeah. It's like, oh, dude, yeah. What are you talking about today, man? Uh, we're gonna talk about my. Okay. Um. Huh, Jonas, man. There's so many things that we could talk about. I'm thinking of one, man. Give me a second. Ghosts. Jonas, do you believe in ghosts? I'm agnostic about ghosts. Have you ever experienced anything supernatural? Uh, well, first off, agnostic means... Just throw that out there. I don't want to be it's, that guy. It's fine. It's fine. It uh, just means that I do not... I, if I saw proof, I would believe so I'm indifferent until proof is given. I don't know if it's indifferent. You're, agnostic is kind of like... It's like I don't believe, but if there was proof, I would believe. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah. guess that's kind of... Yeah, so that's not indifferent, because if you see a ghost, you're not going to be like, eh, hey, I guess. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, wow, I believe now. I saw a ghost. Supernatural. Have I ever encountered anything supernatural? So me, myself, Jonas, I tend to be a skeptic. Um... Have I ever? Ex I feel like we told this story, but the thing with the tarot card. That's fine, dude. Nobody listens to that. That's true. All right. Well, see, I did have one time where a girlfriend of mine brought me. Uh, she had gotten me some tarot cards that were her grandmother's tarot cards. Okay. Yeah. And she, her her grandmother had them for years, and essentially. She gave them to me as a gift because I had watched her do tarot readings a multiple multitude of times, and I had, I essentially secondhand I got the ability to read as well because I kind of had an idea of what all the cards did. Uh, take the cards. She's at work. I'm alone in the room. I take the cards and I say, "Spirit, who is behind these cards?" And I do the thing. And the last card is the devil card. I do it two more times, asking it the same question. I got very similar stories about you know being. Um, being in a place of power or being a place of like great prestige and then like losing it and then the last card three times in a row is a devil card that's the closest thing to anything supernatural I've ever experienced so does that mean like we're gonna get real famous and then you're gonna do something we're gonna fall no okay. it, it's talking about how Satan was once an angel in the in the kingdom of heaven and then he got it all stricken over, taken away Oh, when I got he you. betrayed God and Christ or whatever, whatever you want to believe in. But uh, I've also had times I've had like you ever had like sleep paralysis? I have not, but I heard of it and that it's crazy. I had it like one time and it may have just been like a vivid dream, but I remember seeing like this dark figure standing over the edge of my bed it like didn't have teeth but i could see it clearly had a mouth and it just had like these long fingers that like slowly went over my headboard and it just stared at me in the face dude and, you and i can't move right so exactly and i remember i was like in i might have been it might have been a dream and i remember like opening my eyes and just going like trying to scream and i couldn't do anything that was crazy yeah i could imagine there's a girl i know that 
said that she gets that. I don't know. No, it sucks. It's like you wake up, but your body is still asleep. It's crazy, man. It really sucks. Yeah, I hear it's a real thing. Yeah. Um, but as far as, like, ghost encounters, and I've heard a bunch of stories, but it's usually people just talking about, like, the toilet flushes. Or, Boom! Dino score. Or you can hear somebody walking upstairs. Wait, you're resuscitating a man. <laughs> you got to bring him back, man. I had to touch his crotch. <laughs> he did. I would jump up, too. Yeah. But, yeah, so, like, I don't know. I've never really heard any real, like, solid palpable resp uh, accounts of supernatural activity. Yeah, like, I, dude, and you know what's, I can't even say that I've had, like, oh, the door closed, or the door opened, or, like, I, I haven't encountered anything. Nothing, like, super weird or anything? I'm trying to, like, I really am trying to yeah. say, I think, like, something like that would stick out to me, probably, right? Yeah. Like, wouldn't it? Oh, oh. look at that boy go! Yeah, with my man, he's oh so fine. Uh oh, he's got some moves. He's just backing up a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's doing the zombie back. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, I haven't. No, dude, I, I'm like, I'm literally trying to like think of anything that ever. I've definitely had friends, and it's like the ones who believe in ghosts the most are the ones that are just like, I remember I used to live in this house, and just weird things would happen all the time. Like, the lights would just go off. I'm like, it's probably a short. <laughs> It'll be like the door would close. I'm like, yeah, drafty. And I, I just need something good, man. Somebody show me a ghost. You know, Jones. You know, that's what I mean. Like, so it's like. So I'm the guy in the scary movie that's going to taunt the ghost. You're like the devil's advocate. I'm that guy that's going to be like, oh, all right, I'm Shrenda. It's really haunted. Be like, well, ghost, if you're here, fucking kill me, dude. And then he like, you know, something like a, a Ouija board flies all across it. I'm like, ha ha, good job, Brad. <laughs> very funny. Yeah, very funny. No <laughs> there ain't no fucking ghost in here, dude. I swear. Ghosts come to me. I'm going to kick that ghost. Yeah, but maybe here the worst thing in the world. <laughs> No, I'm editing myself, day, Jonas. I'm going to kick that. <laughs> oh, I get it because it's a ghost, Jonas. Yeah, they have yeah, booze. Yeah, oh, my God. Is he dead? He is. He's passed away, Jonas. He was a good man. Oh, speaking of which, you know, John Witherspoon passed away. Ups to him, man. It's a really unfortunate pops. Friday, uh, Boondocks. Bob, 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 he was in a bunch of movies. Uh, yeah, he, he was. He was. He, he was, was most well known for um, being really in Friday. Yep. Oh, man, Wayne's Brothers. Which I used to watch, Jonas. That was a rumble. Oh, wait a minute. Challenge that. Challenge that. I can't. Oh, there, they're, they're challenging. Oh, thank you, because he was freaking down. He was down. Let's see the challenge, Jonas. Oh, yeah, he was way down. No, he was not. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Watch wait. his elbow. I thought it was knee. Oh, ooh. Anyone can size the hand. Okay. Yeah. Or the foot. Okay. Your phalanges don't count. Let's see what the game says. <laughs> well, I'm going to fire him. Oh, I can't fire him. Dang it. What happened? There. Oh. Into the quarter. No, the timeout. I don't know what happened. Wait, what? <laughs> it didn't say what happened. It charged the timeout and we got the ball back. So they reversed it. Okay, okay, okay. But it's still into the quarter, right? No, no, no. It's not into oh, the quarter. Oh, okay. What is happening? Uh, apparently you're getting... And now you fumble. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jones, we're not allowed to talk about the game yet. <laughs> Even when it's being ridiculous. <laughs> Not allowed to yeah, talk about the game. Like, yeah, it was like, <laughs> like you're having the scene, but you're not allowed to talk about what you're doing. I know, right? <laughs> Ghostbusters. I just realized that's what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Ghostbusters, Jonas. Favorite Ghostbusters. Okay, what was this, what was our original word? It was ghost. Ghost. Oh, ghost. Oh, dude, I Egon like, uh, Spangler. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like Egon? Yeah. I don't even remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Can I have the Bill Murray Ghostbuster, please? <laughs> I think his name was Dan. <laughs> it was funny. He was like, he was all fancy. Look at this guy. He's such, such a weird injury. Yeah, you know. He's had his, uh, what's that call where your joints lock up? Uh, the priapism. Yeah, dude. He's got all of a sudden priapism. Do not look up priapism, kids. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was something completely different. <laughs> Hooper! I work in the medical field so I can make joke medical jokes all the time. Yeah, we used to do the word of the day. Oh, Priapism was one of them. Priapism was one. 
Oh, the word of the day. Oh, my God. How did I ever let you suck me into that bull crap? How did we do that? We did that for like 30 episodes. That was the worst idea. <laughs> I did, and that's the worst part about it. I'm, a, I'm well aware that it was a bad idea. Dude, I tried. Doing freaking hokey behind book knowledge learning on our channel, Jonas. We ain't teaching nobody nothing. That was before we had the, pie, uh, the YouTube channel. Yeah, we ain't never teaching you a thing ever. No, nah, yeah, that's what we'll teach you. Teach you to cheat on your girlfriend. Good for you, Jones. You're a good man. Uh, you know, I adhere by the old Snoop Dogg saying of paint but in tricks. <laughs> I can't say any of that. <laughs> I edited it. Paint but in tricks. <laughs> Lick on the inside. But <laughs> you can't say any of it. You can't really quote Snoop Dogg on our channel. <laughs> Not that song. Yeah. But uh, I would have to say, Jonas, I would definitely do April O'Neil over Irma Thompson. Boom, said it, right in the record books. She was the one with glasses in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I knew April O'Neil. Yeah. Then there was Vern and Casey Jones. Yeah, he was. He was cute though. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like hockey masks, right? Are you looking at Dr. Drake? I wonder if we could just make ho hockey masks like a, a thing. You know? so we just start selling designer hockey masks. Think that work? Uh, think that catch on? Hey, Jones, you're giving me nothing to work with here, man. You see where I'm going here? You give me nothing. What? I'm like, I, <laughs> I know. You, you blew my mind with hockey masks. I know, dude. You're you like, you're talking about having sex with Casey Jones, and next thing I knew, like, my my mind was gone. Like, I don't even know how to like. Function. I know, dude. Okay, sorry. So, what kind of hockey mask is you <laughs> Why would you put on it? I think that you should put, make one that has like a stick of dynamite on it that's like fizzing. Give me a because. <laughs> because it would make me happy when I watch you make it. You know what that generally means? Success. Oh, I love it, dude. Dude, I do. Oh, man, I'm lightheaded from that laugh, guys. You got to give me a second. <laughs> you confused me with the boner jokes about Casey Jones, and now you confused yourself with air. I did, too, man. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. I'll do a monologue. I would make, like, Louis Vuitton, I think. Uh, I've always... Yeah, I remember in GT. I remember in GTA they had, like, a, a Louis, Louis Vuitton print, and I would put it on a hockey mask. Oh yeah? Yeah, man. It was very uh very savage. I know Joe. I don't know what's with you and like the big ridiculous cartoony heads. This man puts a horse head on his Borderlands character. I love it. He just rocks like a big crazy zombie mask. No, no, no. It was no, it was a hockey mask with a zombie print on it. It wasn't the zombie mask. Oh, yeah, but yeah, okay. I like I guess I, I, that one was alright actually. Yeah. yeah, dude, I like big heads. I can't lie. Yeah, dude, man. They're supposed to be coming out with a new GTA soon, too. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Hopefully, quickly, so I can get all the free money early. <laughs> yeah, before they, yeah, before they start yeah. unglitching it. Dude, GTA was the best one. It was just a wild west of people just throwing $17 billion and see your account. <laughs> you would just be walking down the street and somebody would be like, here's $17 million, and they'd just run. And I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. You, you can give away money? Yeah, there was uh, early days of GTA. There was a glitch where if somebody could give everybody in the room like millions and millions of dollars. Oh, like everyone who, who was. Oh, wow, that's cool. So everyone was just like giving away free money. Yeah, it was it was all over YouTube, and that was the issue is that when people put it all over YouTube, ain't nothing stopping the developers from seeing that ish. Oh, right. Absolutely. So your only your only recourse was to spend it as quickly as you possibly could. Well, yeah, well, you had... Because they took it away. Oh, they took the money away. Absolutely. But, oh, but they couldn't take the cars away? No. Once you bought it, man, it can't... Like, it's, it's hard enough to just realize that this person earned money through a glitch. Well, I don't know. I'm not a developer, but... Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, actually. Jones, what would you do if somebody just threw $17 million in your, in your car and ran? Like... Like today? Yeah, like, sure. I'd be happy. You would give the money back, right? 
Maurice Hurst. Would you take it to the police department? <laughs> um, Whoa, here we go. Everybody's 20, got their price. If I found 20 bucks in the supermarket, I'd see if anybody was looking for it. If I had a way to pay off all my students, I'm going to I mean, we're talking about home of the That's more than just, you got, you got $17 million in student loans? No, but I figure I could do something nice with the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> buy a shirt or something. <laughs> Jonas, you probably become a pretty good uh, event planner there. Dude, I would have a, I would, I would have have events like you would believe. You would plan some motherfucking events. I just want to plan events for anyone. I would, uh, dude, I've always kind of wanted to be an event planner. All right, cool. You can plan. Like you can plan my uh, birthday. No, my birthday. No, let's you can plan that. You don't even want me to tell you happy birthday. Why would you want me to plan a it's, birthday? It's uh, hey, look, man. It's an easy job. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. What are we doing? Nothing. <laughs> and it doesn't pay. So I mean. Aww. <laughs> The stops the clock. Yeah, really Neither of us crying. Crying? Crime doesn't oh, pay. Yeah, yeah. So, Jonas, if you ever, if anybody throws $17 million in your car, you should probably take it to police. But then you're never going to get that money back. You should probably take $2 million of it. And then give the rest. <laughs> well, I mean, like when, when when they confiscate drugs, they keep them, coming, right? So who does the cops? Whoever. Are you? What is this training day or something, man? <laughs> it's like that's hell. Are you saying that our boys in blue do not adhere by the laws that they are told to uphold? They what? Why? Why would you speak about the police like that? <laughs> that's what you're saying. I don't know. You definitely said that. We started talking about ghosts. And your point. We took then we went the GTA, man. This is what we do now. Yeah, dude, I like it. I do too. So continue. So yeah, I was talking about cops being corrupt. I was gonna be a cop at one point in time, bro. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yep, I trained super hard, man. That was honestly I, that was the reason that I started going to the gym when I was uh, a little bit younger. Uh -huh. Is that I wanted to do that. And uh I was I was good to go, man, but like I, I got a little, I don't know. I didn't expect the bench press to be a part of it. They had the, first we had to do push-ups. Did that no problem. Then we had to do sit-ups. Did that no problem. I had been practicing the cardio part because I was born with asthma and my lungs sucked. So I, I had been practicing the cardio and I really wasn't doing a whole lot of muscle building. How could you do this? That's like, isn't that the second fumble this game? The third fumble. I mean, the third. Well, the first one got overturned. And then, uh, then it came to the bench press, man, and I, I just, I don't know. I was, I was a little weakling boy. I was very, I was very disappointed, and like it was crazy because everybody there was looking at me as I struggled to maneuver the bar. They're all looking at me like you can't lift that, fam, and I'm like, oh my god, it was super embarrassing because I was jacked, but I don't know. <laughs> lift the bar. It was like you had to lift like two thirds of your body weight or something, or maybe something. I don't know. Okay, it might have been more. I don't recall. But I. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't like a flat weight. It was like based on your. Weight. Yeah, it was based oh, on your weight. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I believe. What don't say that, Jones? People are gonna think I'm like some fat. Over here, no, I just no, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like it'd be different if like everyone had to do 106 pounds. <laughs> like, nobody could lift you, Dark Boy. You fat fudge. <laughs> all right, everybody, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Do it. Uh, you know, tell your friends to come and hang out with us because we like to hang out with everyone. Mm -hmm. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, and who TNT Mother Dynamite, <laughs> we. Are out. out.